After back-to-back -back losses to Montana and Oklahoma, South Dakota will look to change the trajectory of its 2019 season this Saturday when they return home to face Houston Baptist. While this is one of the newer programs in all of FCS football, HBU is also one of the most experienced teams in the Southland Conference. The Huskies returned 20 starters from a team that finished 1-10 in 2018, a group that's headlined by third-year starting quarterback Bailey Zappi, who's thrown for 549 yards and five touchdowns over the first two games. Throws the ball really well. I think he has a really good understanding of their offense. They're a little bit more of, uh, of a tempo team than, uh, than what we have seen the first two weeks. Uh, you know, a lot like us in that regard, and they want to play fast. They want to try to catch you before you can set your defense. And, and uh, it's provided a, a very uh, difficult uh, offensive look to defend. They're very athletic. Um, you know, they're going to spread the field. They're going to throw the football around um, and uh, you know, try to, to cause you problems on the perimeter defensively. One of the keys to minimizing the Huskies productivity will be better third down efficiency. The Coyote offense has converted on just three of 21 opportunities so far this season, while the defense has allowed its opponents to move the chains 67% of the time. Without question, one of the most disappointing things over the first couple weeks of the season, we spent a lot of time in the preseason talking about third down areas that we had to be better both offensively and defensively. And, and that's been uh, a bit of a sticking point for us on both sides of the football. We've not kept drives alive the way we need to, and as a result, played too much defense. And when we've had uh, opportunities to get teams off the field, uh, we haven't done a very good job. So we've got to continue to work on that. Uh, that's got to be something that we're better at as we move forward. It's Houston Baptist at South Dakota Saturday afternoon at the Dakota Dome. We'll have that game live for you both on Midco Sports Network and Midco SN Kansas with coverage starting at 2 p.m. Central Time.